All right. Thank you for coming, everybody, this afternoon. Um, we are commencing the License Commission meeting for October 6th, present this afternoon, myself, Natasha Yakovlev and Helen Kahn. This uh, meeting is being recorded, so everybody knows. Is anyone here for public comment? No one's here for that. We can move on to agenda item number three, application for short-term liquor license, Pioneer Valley Racing Incorporated, 231 Russell Street in Hadley, October 17th, 2021, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. for a road race at Look Park in Florence. This is for wine and malt. Is there somebody here from that event? Sorry, I'm here. Oh, hi, how are you? I'm Justin, not Megan. <laughs> My <Can> wife's you... <laughs> computer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can you just state your name for the record, please? Your full name? Justin Killeen. Okay. Thanks for coming. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your event? Yeah, it's our fifth time doing it. It's in Look Park. Uh, the event kicks off at 9 30. Okay. Uh, we expect people to be arriving back in the park around 11 or so. And then we'll have three um, alcohol providers there. So you'll have, I know progression is one of them. Is that correct? Yep, progression. Uh, no, excuse me, uh, abandoned building. Okay. And headwater cider. And the third brewery is new. They're in Northfield. And I'm not, I think it's called Four Phantoms. Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay. I was thinking of something else. Sorry. Oh, wait, no. Hey, this is Zach with uh, Progression. We've got the cyclocross race on November 6th and 7th. Oh, okay. That's a different one. Thank you. Yep. I was confused. Thanks for that. Um, Justin, have any of these purveyors done this event with you before? Two did. Abandoned Building did and Headwater Cider did. Okay. And we have all of your um, paperwork. Helen, do you have any questions? Um, no, because you've done this before, so you know how to set it up so that um, the people who are drinking are just in a set area, right? Yeah, we have a tent, you know, we usually have a tent for food and beverages. Um, we'll do, you know, masks for everyone once they're back in the park. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I think it, it should be, it should be pretty low key, actually. We limited the number of people, so it won't be anything, um, anything crazy. How many people will you have? I think, you know, what we've been seeing is uh, like 20% aren't showing up. So I'm guessing around 300 people. Mm -hmm. And did you lower the number due to COVID or? The, yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Okay. I have no further questions. If you're all set, Helen, do you want to make a motion? Sure. I'll make a motion to approve the application for a short-term liquor license for Pioneer Valley Racing Inc. 231 Russell Street in Hadley as detailed in item three on the agenda. I will second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And Natasha? Yes. And Helen? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Have a great event. All right. Thanks so much. Sure thing. Okay, so moving along, now we have uh, item number four, the application for short-term liquor license for Think Tank Brewers, LLC, DBA Progression Brewing, November 6th and 7th, 2021, from 11 to 4, and this is for the Northampton International Cycle Cross Race at Look Park, and this is for wine and malt, and we have somebody here. Yep, Zach Wright from Progression's on. Hi, how are you? I'm great, how you doing? Good, thank you. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what you're up to? Sure, yeah, so this will be our first time uh, as an alcohol provider at this event, but I know they've been running it for, I think, 15 years running. I think um, over 20 now, Oh, go ahead, sorry. sorry say that. Yeah. No, I just said it's been, I think it's over 20 now. Oh, okay, great, <laughs> even better. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so I think they're expecting between 1,000 and 1,200 people total between racers and spectators over the two days. Um, it'll be running 11 to 4, um, so we'll be pouring between that time frame. Um, we'll be using the similar setup to we had what we had on Strong Ave uh, for the summer on Strong. We have a 14-foot, we call it a tap wagon. It's a mobile trailer that we'll be pulling up for the event. 
Um, we'll be pouring draft uh, beer for that period of time. Um, and then we'll pull out and cut things off at four. So it should be pretty straightforward. Um, like I said, we've had this tap wagon now for, I don't know, six months or so. We've had a couple test runs with it and we're excited for it. So, um, okay. yeah. Sounds good to me. Helen, do you have any questions? Uh, no, I don't. Great. Then I will uh, make a motion to approve the application for the short-term liquor license as outlined in agenda item four. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And Natasha? Yes. And Helen? Yes. Thank you. Have fun at the event. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Item number five, applications for short-term liquor licenses for Drawing Board Brewing Company, LLC, 36 Main Street, Florence for wine and malt for October 16th, 2021, 1 to 10 p.m., Pints on the Patio, part four, and October 30th, 2021, 1 to 10 p.m., Halloween at the Drawing Board. And can you just state your name for the record? I see you're here. Yep, Corey Lynch, Drawing Board Brewing Company. Great, how are you, Corey? Doing well, thanks, how are you? Great, so do you wanna tell us a little bit about these events? Yep, so um, the first one is going to be identical to the previous three we've had uh, mm -hmm. with the last couple months. Um, just pints on our patio, just as the name describes. Um, and the second one will be the same thing too, but with a Halloween vibe going on. <laughs> nice, that'll be fun. Um, Annie, is, is there, is there another type of license that Corey can be getting so he doesn't have to keep coming back? Yes, and um, I know me and Corey have talked about it. Um, uh, it it's a pouring permit. Um, I don't know where he stands with applying for one. I know you have to get a state license first in order to apply for the local pouring permit. Yeah, there's, there's a number of things that we need to get set up in the tap room, and I don't believe that we qualify for a permit. Okay. It, I mean, you're welcome to come as frequently as you want. I was just thinking if there is a way to save you time. Um, I don't have any questions about about your event. Do you, Helen? I do not, but okay. we're going to make a motion. Um, I'll make a motion to approve the application for short-term liquor licenses for Drawing Board Brewing Company, LLC, 36 Main Street in Florence, as detailed in item five on the agenda. I'll second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And Natasha? Yes. And Helen? Yes. Great. Thank you, Corey. Thank you very much. Thank you. Item number six. Application for short-term liquor license for Brian Boru Incorporated, 37 Commercial Street, Holyoke. Saturday, October 9th, 2021, 430 to 830 at 33 Holly Street for a live music performance for Wine and Malt. Is there somebody here to speak to this event? Annie, is Brian muted? muted? He is, but he should be able to unmute. I will ask him if he can unmute. Okay, you did. I think I'm... Can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you now. Could you just thank you? Sorry about that. All right. So, uh, Ms. Carlo Sarno, S A R N O, and I'm the owner of Brian Brew in Hoyoke. And I'm here with my manager as well. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your event? So, I, I believe it's the Funk Festival um, that we were invited to set up the beer tent for. For about four hours from 4 4 30 to 8 30. Um, and we agreed to do that. It's all ages with a separate roped off area for the beer garden. So someone will be there also, as well as the person bartending. Mm -hmm. So we'll make sure that people coming in and out won't be, you know, there'll be no beer that comes out at all. Okay, that's helpful to know. Thank you. And um, yes. Helen, do you have any questions? Uh, no, that was my only question. So, um, sounds like they're all set. Yeah. Um, Can I just get your, uh, the manager's name for the record? Oh, sure. Melissa Hojanowski. Can you spell the last name for me? H-O-J. 
N O W S K I. Thank you. Sure. You want to make this motion, Helen? Sure, I'll make a motion to approve the application for short-term liquor license for Brian Boro Inc., 37 Commercial Street in Holyoke, as detailed in item six of the agenda. I'll second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And Natasha? Yes. And Helen? Yes. Great. Thank you. Have a good event. Thank you, guys. Thank you so Thank much. You. Have a good day. Item number seven, application for a new common victualler license for Thayer Dining Group, DBA Tria Deli at 150 Main Street, Suite 130. Hello. Hi. Hi, how's it going? Good, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Can you state your name for the record, please? Sure, yeah, I'm Aaron Thayer, A-A-R-O-N-T-H-A-Y-E-R. -E thank you for coming. Mm -hmm. um, can you give us the exciting happenings? Sure, absolutely. Yeah, so we are um, attempting to expand our operation into a small sandwich counter upstairs. Um, basically, it's gonna be an extension of our current business. A majority of the prep will be done in our already approved kitchen. Um, and the upstairs is basically just being used for short um, assembly of sandwiches and as an interface for the guests. Um, and as an, also as an opportunity for us to sell some of the um, retail stuff um, that we're making downstairs. Um, so like dried pastas, for instance. Um, so basically, um, like I said, a lot of the prep's gonna be done there um, and the space is in, in Thorns as well. It's connected by a service elevator. Um, majority of the storage will be happening uh, downstairs in the main Patria kitchen. Um, and it, it should just be, um, you know, just a sandwich shop that's gonna be open to the public. That's awesome. What hours are you gonna be open? Have you sorted that out? Yeah, we have, yeah. So we're planning to be open um, basically when Thorns opens and their their hours have been shifting through over, throughout the past couple months. So we're gonna open when they open. Right now it's 10, so we'll be open from 10 to seven. Oh, great. Um, yeah, and that'll be seven days a week. <laughs> it's nice to have a, another lunch option downtown. Yeah. That's and right next, right next to the front door too, and everybody's gotta pass in on their way past the parking oh. garage, so. Nice, great, well, good luck with it. Thank you very much. Um, Helen, do you have any questions? No. So yeah, explain again where it's going to be. I'm just curious. <laughs> yeah, no. So it's the, uh, so if you walk in the front door, Thorns, it's the first space after Cedar Chest. So it was previously the the Northampton Olive Oil Company. Okay. Yeah. So we we yeah, basically yeah. So it's across from uh, I guess what used to be the Children's Blue Marble. Um, um, so yeah, it, it's um, kind of we kind of did some conversions, put some refrigeration in, really minimal stuff, uh, a couple pieces of equipment just for heating. Great. And when do, you, when do you think your time to actually open? We are locked and loaded. So as soon as our permitting goes through, we're, we're staffed and ready to open. Great. Okay. Excellent. And Aaron, can I ask, have you, have you been in contact with the health department? Uh, yes, we have. Yes. Okay, great. All right. I have no further questions. Um, I'll make a motion to approve the application for the new common victualler license as outlined in agenda item number seven. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And Helen? Yes. Oh, Natasha? Yes. Thank you, Aaron. Good luck. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a good one. You too. Take care. Item number eight, request to rescind a previously approved short-term liquor license, Building 8 Brewing, 320 Riverside Drive, September 25th, 2021, 11 to 8 p.m. And this what event was not held. Um, and we, we don't need O'Brien here, correct? No. Okay. Then I'll make a motion to rescind the previously approved short-term liquor license as outlined in item number eight. Uh, second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Natasha? Yes. And Helen? Yes. Great. All right, item number nine, another request to rescind a previously approved short-term liquor license for the Academy of Music for Saturday, October 16th. 2021 7 to 11 for the uh, canceled event. Um, I'll make a motion to rescind the previously approved short term liquor license as outlined in item number nine. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Natasha? Yes. Helen? Yes. Thank you. Item number 10, public hearing on an application for a new seasonal on-premises restaurant wine and malt license with a cordials liqueur permit for Iconica Social Club, LLC, 1 Amber Lane, proposed 
manager, and I apologize for mispronouncing your name, Jimena Salmeron. Um, I will make a motion to open the public hearing on agenda item 10. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, is there any public comment on this agenda item? Seeing no public comment, then can we hear from the applicants, please? Hello. Hello. Hi, could you state your name for the record so I know how to pronounce it in the future? Yes, of course. I'm Jimena Salmeron. Great. Jimena. Thank, you. Thank you for coming. Um, do you want to tell us about your plans for the restaurant? Sure. So we've been operating as a cafe, as a bakery, and um, we have an ambiance and an atmosphere that really a lot of people have said lends itself to the kind of you know, place where you might want to go and have the ability to get a beer, get a wine, a glass of wine. You know, we also just feel like we have these cold pressed juices that we do that are really popular and they would really lend themselves to being in some sort of just simple kind of craft, simple cordials. And uh, we just think it'd be a really nice spot. Um, right now we're planning on keeping the current hours that we have because uh, we are doing everything. So we're doing 10 to four uh, Thursday through Sunday. Um, so that might be the inclusion of some sort of mimosa or something simple like that. But then in the future, we'd love to be able to use that to expand our hours mm -hmm. and become another option, uh, you know, at night where people can just go have a glass of wine and a piece of cake and be in a really nice ambiance. Mm -hmm. Have either of you worked in an establishment that serves alcohol? Yes. yes. So I was actually a bartender at Pizza Paradiso that then became um, Highbrow. Mm -hmm. I was the main bartender at Paradiso and I was a bartender at Highbrow for six months or so. A year. Oh, a year? Yeah. It was a year? Okay. Yeah. Sure. And then I was also <laughs> I was also the floor manager at Highbrow for the first year. Okay. Um, so yeah, we, we handled a lot of that. Well, we also, uh, before that we worked at Roberta's that also served Yeah, yeah. so uh, we worked at a, a number of places in town that served beer and wine. Mm-hmm. Helen, do you have a question? Um, no, I maybe comment question. Um, that so it's uh, the hours are ten to four right now. You said yeah, yeah and so yeah. just for their edification and mine, I guess if they were to change their hours, would they have to come? Um, would they have to change any of their license? Yes, they'd have to come through the to the commission, and then they would have to go to the ABCC. So it is it, the only thing is there is not a $200 ABCC filing fee for a change of hours. So that's, that's why it's not. It there is, is not? There is not for that application, no. Okay, that's good. Yeah. But we would just have to submit something to, to state that we will be changing our hours. I mean, we probably won't do that for a long time, but. Okay, it's, it's, not, it's not as big of a process as this is. Okay. Um, it's very, it's, as far as ABCC applications go, it's the simplest one. Okay. Um, but there would be, um, I think there would be a waiting period, but not not by much. Okay, that's good to know. Okay. Thank you, Annie. <laughs> um, but yeah, beyond that, I don't have any questions. Sounds like a good plan to me. Okay, yeah, it does. It sounds fun. Um, oh, except maybe that just the comment, just um, which we usually comment when people do um, apply for the cordials license, just to keep in mind that you really we're very strict about it. You need to make sure that the bottle says that it's a cordial or a liqueur yes. um, for you to pour it and serve it. Yeah. All right. Thank you. <laughs> um, then, did you have anything else to add, the applicants, to your information? No, there's uh, where I mean. We're excited to, you know, give more, exp keep expanding into, you know, lunch and kind of not dinner, but later options as the world kind of changes and opens up and just being yep. another option in Northampton. I think it'd be really nice. Yeah, that is nice. We're glad you're there. Um, then I will make a motion to close the public hearing. <clears throat> a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, Helen. Yes. I have... I think this is a great idea. I agree. Yeah, I don't have any questions or concerns at this point, so. Same. Yeah. Um, do you want to make the motion? 
Sure, I'll make a motion to approve. Uh, hang on, let me make sure I read the right thing. The new <clears throat> um, seasonal on-premises restaurant wine and malt license with a cordials liquors permit for Iconica Social Club LLC at one Amber Lane as detailed in item 10 of the agenda. Um, actually hold. Annie, if I have, I just had another thought. Do I need to reopen the public hearing or can I just say my uh, No, um, did you second the motion? No. So second the motion and then it will be on the floor for discussion. Oh, okay. I second the motion. Now discussion. Aye. Okay. Now we can have the discussion. Yes. You okay. have it. Yes. Yes. Okay. So what I what I didn't mention earlier was I I know Iconica has that outdoor that great outdoor space under the trees. It would need to be cordoned off. Yeah. If there's alcohol out there. Okay. Okay. And right thought. now, um, right now Iconica has uh, parking spaces in the Masonic Street parking lot, um, but that will have to be broken down November 1st, because that's yeah, when we- We're aware of that, yeah. Well, you, I know you're aware of that. I was just letting Natasha oh, know that's, um, that's okay. That <laughs> that area will not be licensed. So it will just be the area immediately like outside the building. Yep. So um, just, just so you know for content. Okay, okay, that's good to know. Okay, so do we need to redo that motion to approve the? No, uh, now now I just need a vote and because you already seconded it. So okay. Helen? Yes. And Natasha? Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Good luck. Yes, thank you good so luck. much. Okay, Annie, thank you for getting us through that public hearing. <laughs> <laughs> On to the next one. Item number 11, public hearing on an application for a transfer of license, change of location, and change of license type on an annual all alcohol liquor license for NoHo Social LLC, 261 King Street in Northampton. Uh, the proposed manager is Kara Schultz. And um, I make a motion to open the public hearing. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Is um, someone here to represent? This, this is Peter Pusilowski. I'm an attorney in Great Barrington on behalf of NoHo Social. And also on, on Zoom is Saj Khan, who represents the landlord. OK, great. Thank you for coming. Easy enough on Zoom. Yes, it is, isn't it? Um, is there anybody here for public comment? None. Um, would you like to tell us why you're here today? Sure. First, before I forget, I have the two return receipts for the abutters, and I will send them along uh, when we're done here. Uh, <clears throat> this is a building, the other half of which is a cannabis retail, um, and uh, the landlord is interested in filling this space and has made these arrangements for uh, premises that anticipates being uh, a coffee house during the day and a casual uh, all alcohol server in the evening. Um, it's 16, is it 1,390 square feet, uh, anticipate 50 tables. Um, we have not, we realize we have to apply for the vitrillers license, but since the uh, applicant is fairly conservative. He wants to be sure that the commission approves, the, the ABCC approves this license before investing in the renovations. And after the renovations are done, we'll be back for the other licenses. Okay, and at that time, will the um, manager of the business or the business owner join the meeting so we can I, meet them? Yeah, the, the, the owner had a conflict with the, uh, hearing uh, involving a bank he works for. So he wasn't here and I'm sorry, I just don't know where the manager is, but we'll certainly assure they're on the next call. Okay, thank you. Um, all right, I'm just looking at notes here. Helen, do you have any questions while I'm- I am also looking at notes. <laughs> <laughs> so 
Yeah. Do you have a sense of the hours that the establishment is going to be open? Uh, what did we say? What did we say? I'm looking. <laughs> okay. Thought we had it. Good afternoon, everybody. Saj Khan. I represent uh, four months the landlord. Uh, NoHo Properties, the landlord. Um, I believe, Peter, and I think I think this is just from what I've heard, that the coffee shop will serve coffee from 6A to 1P, um, and then there'll be two to three hours of turnover before um, NoHo, so, the Sonoho social turns into an evening uh, uh, venue, and I think they were going to go from four to midnight. Okay. And is that seven days a week? No, uh, no, I don't think it's going to be seven days a week. I think those hours were really weekend hours. Uh, a lot of okay. places, uh, as you can imagine, are, are not open during the week yeah. simply because you have staffing levels in, in yep. this environment. So that's what I'd heard as well. Okay. Um, and so, so you, and, and the idea is that there's food being served with the alcohol or it's just, yeah. There will and be um, the big license. not sophisticated food prepared on the premises, but things that are easy to heat and serve. Mm -hmm. But we will be back for a vigilance license. Um, and do we know? I, I'm sorry, I haven't seen the paperwork on this. Like the uh, the experience of the proposed manager. I don't know if uh, there's anything you can speak to that. Uh, the manager has not experience as a manager. And of course, we're going to put her through all the training before we're back uh, for the next license. Mm -hmm. okay. And do you know if she has experience serving alcohol or working in an establishment that provides alcohol? Uh, I do. She, uh, but, uh, Peter, I think I can answer okay. that question. She is a disabled vet um, who has done three deployments, um, and um, she did serve. Uh, she did work as a waitress um, and a bartender in Florida, which is where her last deployment was. Um, so that's that's the relationship, and that's where the experience comes from. Okay. is on on page six of the application it's the manager's application and it does have employment information oh okay oh there it is there's a few things that maybe i, I don't really know what they are without looking into them so but Okay, does um, do Saj or Peter have any other comments to make before Helen and I discuss? I just, uh, this was, I believe, a Chinese restaurant and this is a good opportunity to get it back in operation and on the rent rolls. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I have been previously to the Cannabis Commission <clears throat> and determined in another instance that a building sharing cannabis and alcohol is perfectly okay, so. Okay. Helen, do you have any other questions before we discuss? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> um, yeah, I think not of the applicants. Although, I mean, I guess, I don't know if I do it during hearing um, or if we need to close public hearing to discuss that I'm um, just, Historically, I mean, in sort of this order of events with having this vague information, I don't know if that's, um, if we need more information in order to approve this, that we don't seem to know hours and days of week and, and other things like that. Um, and I don't know in terms of the license commission, if it matters if the alcohol license comes before the common VIC license or, or does that matter? And I don't know if that's something, Annie, that you have the answer to or... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 certainly they can apply for the app for the license before the common vic. Um, it's just with a restaurant license, food needs to be served like with that type of license, mm -hmm. um, unless you were to apply for a general on premise, which means which there's no food requirement. Um, 
but I mean, it, it's not it's not like they're going to be issued the license tomorrow. It still needs to go to the ABCC. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I guess part of my question is, if we were to approve the license today, we're approving it. Right. We're just approving it sort of generally, not with, and then later will come the information about the hours of op and days of operation. Is that well? As as Mr. Khan said, we're applying for. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 4 p.m. to midnight. Okay. Yeah, and, and I just checked, and Peter, I just sent a text message. I know uh, you know Tom is in the middle of this bank merger with Berkshire Bank. Um, that during the week, up until Thursday, so Monday to Thursday, they're going to close at 10, and then only on fr Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we'll go to midnight. So it's seven days a week. So we're yes. clear. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, so sorry. Four to ten, Monday through Thursday, well, and four to midnight, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Correct. Okay. So, I guess I thought I thought I heard somewhere in there that the coffee shop would be open from six a.m. to one p.m. Uh, correct. I, yeah, right. I did, but I didn't think. The, yeah, I was gonna I was gonna correct Peter on that. Correct. So this coffee shop will always be open from six a.m. to what six a.m. to one p.m. Seven days and a then, week. Yes. I didn't think that I thought that would be part of the vitular license, but not the liquor license, but those will be the hours. Okay, so we're would be for the liquor license today, we're talking about then four to ten PM Monday through Thursday and right. four to midnight Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Correct. Okay. Um, Helen, do you need more information before we? Uh, no, I don't think so. Then I'll make a motion to close the public hearing and move to discussion. A second. All in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> Aye. Aye. Um, so I'm, I'm pleased to see that the Pine Grove license has moved on to somebody else for sure. Um, and please, for another business to open on King Street, it would have been nice to have the opportunity to meet um, a direct line to people who are going to be working and, you know, the owner and or the manager today. Um, I understand there's a conflict, but it's, it is, it's would be, it would feel unusual to approve this today without having the opportunity to meet the people who will be putting it into action. Natasha, can I can I just give you some? I do believe that Tom Casper had originally had been on this call when we first had the conversation with Pine Grove, right, Annie? I think a year ago now. Yes. So you guys have met Tom Casper. You ha and he we has have been on this met call. Tom. It might even be over a year ago. I don't I don't remember, but it was a while ago. With they Stephanie, were, I believe. They were here to just get a general because it's. The Pine Grove license is a special act license, so they wanted to make sure that that the commission was going to allow its transfer, um, in which you did. So, right. Yes, he was here a, a while ago. I think for the purposes of the conversation today, the the business has evolved. It's shaped. It's you know, sure. It's taken shape. So I think that's what I meant, meant was not you know just to lay eyes on somebody, but to have a, a chance to talk to the operator and owner about what's taking shape and what will be opening imminently. Oh, I can assure you they will be present for the vitrilers application. Sure, of course. So Helen, do you have thoughts? Um, I guess, are you saying that that might preclude you from? Um, not necessarily, I just wanna share the thought and yeah, yeah I'm, I'm not, I mean, I, I think it it would be important, but it's, it's not going to preclude me from voting it forward. Right. Yeah, no, I agree. I think it's important just to state it. It would be would have been nice to um, see the people who will be directly involved. Um, but at the same time, I will say I don't want to get in the way of this moving forward. And it's as, as you say, it's so nice to see something being done with that Pine Grove license. And um, the building on King Street, so yes, <laughs> so we are happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So I don't know if you. I mean, I'm sort of willing to move forward 
Okay. Make a motion if you're yep. at that place. Okay. Uh, I have one quick question for Annie before we do that. So this is going to the ABCC. Do we need to have any contingency in the motion about the common victor license being approved before the license is used? No, I just, I won't issue the license unless Okay. Every I have everything. Okay. Sounds good. And would you like to make the motion, Helen? Sure. Um, I will make a motion to approve the transfer of. Um, sorry, motion to approve the application for a transfer of license, change of location, and change of license type on an annual all alcohol liquor license as detailed in item eleven of the agenda. I'll second the motion. All in favor? Aye. I. And Natasha? Yes. And Helen? Yes. Great. All Thank right. Thank you. Thank we'll you. be back. Right. We'll Thank see you, you next time. Great. Thank no, you. Thank you, guys. Manager. Thank you. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, item number 12, approval of minutes, September 1st, 2021. I looked at the minutes. Mm -hmm. Are you, sure. did you look at, you're good? Yep. I'll make a motion to approve the September 1st, 2021 minutes. Second. All in favor? Aye. Natasha? Yes. And Helen? Yes. Thank you. Item 13, new business. Um, apart from maybe reopening the discussion on our meeting time. Yeah, oh. I know that, I know that was, the reason we didn't was because of our former commissioner. Um, so I didn't know if that was something maybe you wanted to revisit. <clears throat> well, I'm realizing that now for the next several months, it will not be an issue because I won't be having that conflict. So I would say if it becomes an issue again, I, I may raise it, but right now I'm, I'm good for a few months at least. So. Okay. All or right. this time works, yeah. Okay. As, yeah, today was the last day that it was a conflict. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, it's, it's okay. <laughs> um, thank you for being here. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> um, so as far as recruiting another commissioner. The mayor has reached out to somebody today. Oh, great. Um, not sure what's going to come of it, but he did he did put the ask out. Okay, so there's no, um, in the event where we don't, we aren't able to fill that seat quickly, there's no pause to business. We can continue to do business as the commission until. Yes, we have to. I yeah. mean, you are a quorum, so. Yep. Um, if for some reason there's a conflict on a meeting date, uh, we'll just have to find a time that works for both of you. Okay. Unfortunately, until it's filled. Okay. Um, one thing I did just think of. So, there the Patria is having a dance party for Halloween, and in light of the noise complaint, I thought they were only supposed to have entertainment on Saturday. I think it's on that night, on Saturday night. What night oh, is so Halloween? It's, okay, Halloween Sunday. Uh, well, you have trick or treaters, so I don't. Right, have... I know that. <laughs> I don't have that information anymore. <laughs> also, my son's birthday, so I will always know what day Halloween is. <laughs> <laughs> um, should would it be prudent to send Patria a letter and just letting them know that we had received a complaint from the first time they had music and to be mindful of the neighbors? Yeah, I can absolutely do that. I think that would be helpful. And hopefully there's no complaint. Yeah, was there a follow-up otherwise from that complaint? Was there no, okay. uh, we got the letter and that was it. Okay. So we don't even know if there was communication with the owners about it previously. Communications with the complainant and the I, owner? Yeah. No, I know. Sorry. Let a dog out. Um, okay. Helen, do you have any new business to add? 
And I guess, and since we're talking about complaints, is there any follow up required with the neighbor with um, Miss Flo's diner? Um, I believe Natasha said she was going to maybe take a stab at um, forming an email. I yeah, I had thought that a response was appropriate. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's. It, because they because they did mention the renewals coming up this month, and um, I think in this new age of these entertainment licenses and trying to be more mindful about the parameters within which we're issuing them, um, also sort of being clear, you know, to people who have complained quite loudly that we will still be issuing entertainment licenses. You know, there that that isn't going to stop. So I sort of, I was gonna sit down and draft something, but then um, sort of came up against a wall because I still don't have clarity around the when the, the licenses are required. Um, you know, we know the po Summer Porch Series didn't have a formal license to do that event. Should they have, if so, okay, next year, we'll make sure that happens. Can somebody throw a gala party and have entertainment? Do they need a license for that? You know, I know JJ's got a license and has always gotten his license for Oktoberfest. Right. Was the gala at Ms. Flo's the same thing? You know, just so that we have all of our information so that we can do this fairly and correctly moving okay. forward. Yeah, that so was- I, Yeah. I, I was gonna do a little research and put together some information on when an entertainment license is needed and when it's yeah. not. Um, I promise I will get to it. Renewal season is just beginning. So it's yes, so I know you're busy. It's, it's yeah, don't make, make it a big priority. But, but no, I, I, no it, I mean, it is because we've been dealing with it a lot this year. So mm -hmm. I, I definitely will put some time into it. Yep. Yeah, because I will, uh, state again my frustration which i did when the city solicitor was here that we we don't really have guidance for this that this yeah, is just like new territory nothing. and that the response is we can't help you which is essentially what i heard use your best judgment i i think that's not a great way to go and i was and this is sort of anecdotal because i was talking to someone who lives in east hampton and apparently there is an establishment there that has been very loud and i believe city councilors are actually working on doing some kind of Oh. guideline law whatever whatever it may be about noise levels so and as she said maybe for once Northampton can follow East Hampton <laughs> <laughs> but but I think it's worth sort of looking into if other areas do have some yep. kind of guidelines especially with the outdoor absolutely uh, yeah we, we have to establish something in this yeah. new age of outdoor everything Right. And so the question is, who's who, where does where does that responsibility lie of establishing it? Is it city council? Then we could ask the commission could ask city council to do that, right? Yeah. Right. I mean, I got the impression that Alan sort of said no, but that I don't know if that's actually the final word. You know, I'll talk. He's coming in tomorrow morning. Um, I'll talk to him about it tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because the case by case is very difficult. It is. Yeah. yeah. And it's also ends up being after the fact, not, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. So, um, okay. The only other, the only other, I don't know, are you, do you guys have anything else? What I don't. Well, um, I, I know we said that at the end of the um, summer on strong that we were going to revisit the homestead issue, not the Ibiza tapas license issue. So um, I didn't put it on this agenda because I do have a heart somewhere deep inside and <laughs> they're still, they're still, they still have outdoor dining and it doesn't end until November 1st. So I thought it would be better for them if we put it on the November agenda. Okay. So just so you know that it, it's coming next month. Okay. 
but then it's like it sucks because then it's like okay well then could the like the holiday season's coming it's just it's it's like there's really not not going to be a good time because they are going to be without a license for at least a, a month mm -hmm. so yeah i think post holiday might be the best right like <laughs> for, if we're continuing with having a heart <laughs> right like february or something could we yeah. could we do it proactively what do you mean um, not proactively. Um, could we, if we address it in November, put it into the future and come up with a plan, make a motion so that everybody's prepared for it to happen in February or something or January? Um, I would say, yeah. I will also talk to Alan about the process for tomorrow because I, I don't really know how to go about it. Um, so I will, I will talk to him about procedure tomorrow. Okay. Sounds good. Anything else? Not from me. It's 447. Yes. <laughs> I will make a motion to adjourn this meeting. Uh, second. All in favor? Aye, aye. Aye.